Okay, here we start. Warming up. Welcome to our longest episode title ever. The Ooh. <laughs> oh, gotta share. Gotta share. Gotta tag. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Interesting. Geekbox PH has. Um, okay. Oh, okay. But yes, we are starting in a bit. Yeah, I know. There's going to be like a very. As far as tabletop like related episodes go this is gonna feel very niche because <laughs> it's just literally going through this one box um and i'm talking to no one but it's okay we're just doing it for posterity <laughs> Oof. facebook data youtube data is partially missing this happens every now and then Andre has joined us. Hey, Andre. Hello. And yes, you cannot say settlers. You have to say imperial settlers. Because when you say settlers, there's a different think, game. People think it's Catan. Hey, Karen. So this is not going to be a super talky episode. This is going to be us going through what we got. And it's funny. And, I, and then I should save the story for later, but I swear I had, I had I had been getting UPS notifications all week, but then it was just like delayed, delayed, delayed. And then I was telling Toby this morning that, hey, I finally got a notification. It's in Pampanga. <laughs> then it showed up. <laughs> so, wowzers. Which is, you know, it's far better than, you, than my order, which... Um, Still waiting for the pre-order to show up. So, pro tip, guys. If you order a bunch of pre-order items at the same time, don't. <laughs> Just, like, separate them so that they ship individually. Yeah. Because when you group them, at least on Miniature Market, you have to wait well, for all of them together. The idea of grouping them is to save on shipping. That is true, but too. But sadly. You now are delayed. If things are late. They're all late. Which is okay. I mean, like, it's fine. We're not in a rush. So, it would be nice to have, but it's not a rush. So hey, Kenny. I guess we might as well officially start. Since yeah. this is going to be a weird episode. Kenny. Yeah. Because normally we don't do Wednesdays, but then uh, we didn't have a game today, so we figured this. But then Toby's, like, super stressed because he's still working. Mm -hmm. um, so I figured a less talky episode would be great. So you're going to hang out with us. As we go through a box. <laughs> okay. This is Toby. And this is Rocky. And if it's your first time here, welcome to Badu Pride, our little space on the internet where we talk about anything we want. This is completely unscripted and not entirely accurate, but at least it's honest. Join us as we talk about everything and anything random live. And if it's not no scratch my face. <laughs> and if it's not your first time here, thank you so much for joining us again. So today is an episode where we see all of this. And throw this away. No, no, no. <laughs> it's going to go into a different box. You know, it's funny. It's funny. I maintain a Google Photos album mm -hmm. of box scans mm -hmm. because the logic was that we would start getting rid of empty expansion boxes as we optimize things. However, we don't throw. We have not thrown the boxes, and there is a bookshelf in the bedroom so that when you're lying down in bed. You see this scary tower of boxes that Toby has created that is, um, actually, they're mostly empty, so it's not that bad. It's a good earthquake warning. Device. Surprisingly, it has never fallen during an earthquake. I was just about to talk about <laughs> earthquakes, but that's how we are. Okay, so to be fair, okay, we're going to talk about Imperial Settlers. Um, we've already had an episode that celebrated this wonderful game by Ignazi Trevizek of Portal Games. 
And it's definitely one of our favorites in the collection. We own uh, pretty much all the expansions to date, mm -hmm. except for some of the promo mini stuff. There's some new new tiles I haven't picked up. And I was studying ahead of time the new box. Um, they've made provisions for the promo tiles. Oh. There are provisions for the promo tiles. Okay, so technically, we have fit all of our expansions into this one box. And look how well-loved this box is. You cannot see accurately on the camera how dirty it is. And how heavy it is. And it's heavy because it's a card game that's just a lot of cards. Oh, you can see how dirty it is. Look, look. This is white. This is not white. <laughs> <laughs> it's or, white. or the, the the signage is white, the caption, and, and this is not yeah, but quite white. Just compared to your shirt, see? Yeah, yeah. And my shirts are quite clean because I do our laundry. Mm -hmm. This is great white. <laughs> this is not white. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's show you what we got today. So, okay, don't get too excited. It's a box. I'm not even kidding. Toby's lying. This is the Imperial Settler storage box. It is super light. Um, this is the second time ever we have purchased an official box for a game. The first one was the big geeky box for Smash Up, mm -hmm. which was pretty much just a very solid box with three columns and one new faction, this being the geeks. Mm -hmm. So this one, to be fair, is a bit more than that. There are trays inside to help organize the game. And um, if you get the plus version, which we did, it comes with this additional Ziploc bag of goodies, which consists of a, man a master manual that includes all the expansions, Additional common cards with new art that are exclusive to the Plus promo. And solid versions of the player boards for the expansion factions. This being Atlanteans, Aztecs, and Amazon. Because those came as... A puzzle piece. Mm -hmm. They came divided into two. So now you can have them solid. I'm sorry. I only just... But now ask the question, why are all the expansions A? Mm -hmm. I did not ask this question before. Why is it Amazon's Aztecs and um, and uh, Amazon's? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, uh, Andre says the artwork is cute. Yes, the artwork is super cute. Oh, you want to? So this is like how we have things organized now. It's like Wait, let's, let's show the box. Let's show the. So it would look like this. It's a so like these are it's a mini expansion. It's a mini expansion. Yes. Oops! Oops! Ah! That's All awesome. the tokens are just in one bag at the moment. So it's wooden and cardboard tokens all together. Mm -hmm. You have a faction. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. the Aztecs one. Another faction. And then and I bagged them with their manuals. Another faction. Another faction. Um, the solo expansion. Oh, yes. If you play solid there, there are special cards for uh, it. General cards? Nope. This is still another expansion. It's the Atlantean. Oh, and another faction. Yeah. And these, uh, uh, put inside the fire. And wait. There's more. Yeah, we hid stuff in the side, which is like the actual faction decks. So Aztecs, uh, Amazons, Atlanteans. So it's yeah. an empty box. Nope. <laughs> There's more. Egyptians. Uh, uh, Romans. Romans. Ooh, Japanese. And of course, the barbarians. barbarians. And the common cards. Common cards. So, and with like some tokens, like the first player token and all that, all makes sense. And them. there's more. So we have scoreboard. Your scoreboard. And then we have now the player boards. Yeah, so this is the original faction. So notice they're solid. Romans. And then here's one of the non solid ones. <laughs> Poor Amazon. Amazon is the only faction that does not have a, a guy and a girl. It's just girls, obviously. Egyptians. Look, puzzle piece. Aztecs. 
Japanese. Oops. Puzzle piece. Puzzle piece Atlanteans. And of course, Barbarians. And that's your empty box with a hidden ninja if you know where to look. You always look for ninjas on the portal game. So we're going to we're gonna move stuff. Yay. Okay, so uh, now this is a mess off camera. Uh, but yeah, this is our big box. And it says that it is a safe place for your empire. Um, they brag where it's keep every card where it belongs, enjoy an insta setup with the plastic tray, and customize each play with the chosen faction. Now, the challenge that have come with like the mini expansions is that, um, what's this? Is that uh, a standard Imperial Settlers game is that you should only play with 30 cards in your deck. So when you play with an expansion, which normally adds 10 uh, faction specific cards to your faction deck, um, you will need to remove cards. Yeah, you're expected to customize your deck in the sense of choosing <clears throat> which cards go in and which cards go out. Because you don't have to use all the new cards yes. in an expansion. So in terms of organization, we've kept the base faction deck separate. And then we just put all the expansions and their faction-specific cards um, together in the additional bags. So now there's supposed to be provisions so that you can have like your Egyptians and then the faction-specific cards of each other. So you're finally gonna open the box. And I'm, I'm not even kidding, it's a box. I paid more for shipping due to volume of the box than for weight of the box, but that's okay. We got to ship it directly here. I'm glad they used UPS so we didn't have to go to the post office because I hate the Tagig post office. Um, so many messages. It might be work. <laughs> Sadly. Okay, so let's pop this up. I want to get my phone, but not to get some messages. I'll take the pictures. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 look, look, look. It connects to the artwork. Oh, you see it? oh, how cute. Look, it generally connects. So if it was closed, it's just their faces. But as you lift it, there's their bodies. And, oh, they're under it also. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, can you give me a sign? Give me a sign. Is it the line? Uh, a little lower. Okay, that's good. I gotta get the top of the box. Just, just for the heck of it. Okay. Ah. Oh, sorry. Turn. It's a box. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, so it's all card trays, and you can see that uh, there's embossed letters which represent the expansions because the heart is why can't we be friends? Mm -hmm. The three is um, what's three? Three is the magic number. Yes, fire is we didn't start the fire. Ooh, AM is. Amazon, AT is Atlanteans, AZ is Aztecs, mm -hmm. because there are expansion specific. And then there is a pull-out tray with a cover for, can you see, can you see, no, I'm trying to, there, there's the angle, for tokens. Ten more. They learn from the empires of the north. Ten more. Yeah, so this is where it's going to get annoying. Um, oh, uh, ooh. Ooh, I don't know how to fix this. Is this, oh my god, is this a no? common card? Probably, because these seem to be the mains. Although there's, there's areas here. Oh, that's for additional tokens. It's technology and prayer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mitch is like, there's a basement. Can slide cards fit still? Sleeve, you mean? Probably. We'll yeah. see. I know, we don't I know it was designed, but we didn't sleeve our set, yeah. I'll admit. Oh, you know, I'll take... Sorry, can you retcon? Can you put it back in? I'll just take a quick picture of everything. Yeah. <laughs> I 
let us know. Stare at Rocky. He picks for you. Making fun of me. Yeah, that's what this video is, guys. It's just it's just watching me do my silly things. No more hard time looking for apples. Since when was it hard to find apples? Apples are the easiest to find because they're like red and, and people bright. barely get apples. So unless you're in Japan, no one else really gets apples. Okay. Okay. So how are we gonna do this? Uh, for those who are wondering about box size, I did a quick comparison. It's roughly the same size as the box as the collector's edition for Chikarion. If you compare it to Suburbia, it is the same width, slightly shorter. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh. Okay, so so uh, board game geek. There is some guy who took photos of his attempt to fill up the box. Now there are only four here in front, so it's provision for four factions. So I'm guessing it's the four main yeah. factions, right? Which means we should prepare. Egyptians, Romans, um, uh, uh, Japanese, and where is my last one? Barbarians. And if we alphabetize them, it's barbarians, <laughs> Egyptians, uh, oops, that's not Egyptians, Japanese, Romans. Okay. I think I found the photo. Hmm. Does it fit both ways? It should. It's a. It's a square. Yeah. Because I'm I'm trying to map out like how it's gonna go, in terms of like storage. Okay. So they have the gallery, but it doesn't really. So much. Board Game Geek had a better, a better. I'm already sweating. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, let's look at that. Real settlers, storage box, board game geek. Do 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 do. Uh, this is storage solution. This isn't it. Yeah, Imperial Settlers storage box. You should have an official uh, there, the storage box plus. Okay. It's ready. One moment. One moment. Okay, so I see some photos of people who posted how they stored things, but they didn't do a breakdown. Well, I guess the easiest thing to start with is probably tokens, right? Then we can fix tokens um, quite easily. The the guy had the, the photos that are there, he had labels, but just very like rough ones. The so bottom layer empires. with expansion empires and common parts. So the bottom layer isn't as super friendly for expansion. Just and actually, I would like. I want to pop it out. There goes the bag. So now I'm like, you know, preparing Mungo, finding things one by one in the plate. <laughs> also, quick ninja check. I am a bit worried that their little tray thing doesn't really have containers that close up. So it still tells you things will scatter and stuff. Okay, I need your opinion. The, when you open the box right side up, do you want it? Because these are the most likely, the, these are the expansion factions, mm -hmm. right? And then this is going to be common. Mm -hmm. But would you rather the common deck is Minyan and then expansion factions are just like that? Or is it okay if the common is... We fill up from bottom to top. So I notice the gaps are different in size. Yes. I know it's so, going to. No, so it already implies that these are 
the typical commons, and then you have the commons that have come from special stuff. Because like the 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 box comes with the nine new common cards, mm -hmm. so that'll be up here. In theory, so you won't be able to really keep it for the or for Yeah, I'm just I'm just it's a it's an aesthetic question, and like mm -hmm. how you would you want to see it? I'm just trying to okay then. I guess I'll do it like that. Cause then, then on top, I want the I want the the factions to make sense. Cause the factions are also to decide. Yeah. I think you just have to decide if the factions are facing right or facing left. So that tells you what part of the card can be seen. So like now, I'm wondering about science. Do we mix all the science types? Because mm -hmm. all the prayer, regardless of colors, in one container. Yeah. Then I guess all the tech. The guy, the uh, look also. I think there was a guy. He had a uh, had a label. Of, he had a, a an example of what he did with the bottom tray. Well, he tried to separate. There, he has normal tech separate from the point tech and the special tech. Hmm. Because there are four containers in there, so it's not. Terrible, and then he put all of the other other tokens in the last compartment, which yeah. kinda makes sense. Although we will lose, we will lose how we have segregated the point. Like in each of the bags, the point scoring token is in the bag. So that's a thought. Okay. I'm putting a sample in each so we can already start identifying. So there, so what they did was shield, swords, coins, apples, stone, wood. To be fair, there's a there's yeah. an embossed icon. So that's not so bad. I get. Then all these Egyptian tokens will go in the Egypt, yeah. Egypt has all these other tokens. Hey, it's not their fault that they're like magical. They're like extra. I'm surprised there's no separate location for the times five. Unless that goes here. Yeah, yes. we'll see. I'm just putting the other tokens there. Uh, this is the video, guys. This is the video. Andre says, "Hi, finally, no more hard stuff." Okay, no, yeah, there's no people uh, have nothing to say because we're just doing stuff, and we happen to yeah. have a video on. Mitch says, "Yes, sleeps. Oh my God, sense of language gets paralyzed." I've always been um, conflicted when it comes to sleeves. I understand how they help keep a game from getting worn down. But I'm also the type of person who accepts things get worn down because you'd like to support the creators more and buy a new one. But I know that's coming from a position of privilege. And but sleeves in themselves are not cheap. Yeah. Right? It's like But it's a, but it's the investment of you yeah, know, by yeah. getting sleeves, your game Oops. doesn't get messed up sooner. Um but then you have all these really expensive sleeves. <sighs> and sometimes I can't help but feel like sleeves are just an offshoot of comic collecting. Yeah. Like where you have all these. Plus the poly bags and the backboards. Yeah. And keep in mind, there were those really high level poly bags that were like super acid free, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Um, can you can you weigh the box after put things in? <laughs> um, it's probably not going to be that much heavier than the current box. Yeah, because it only had like two 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 inserts. Yeah, and it wasn't like let's say suburbia and the like we're in the new set had all these new. Um, more tokens for the player colors. And they didn't go like full uh, game trays. 
you know, TM uh, in terms of like, it's not ready to deploy for an individual player. Yeah. They don't have like containers per player. They just have um, shared storage and bank solution. Which then makes you also think that was that a missed opportunity? But then again, it's a game that's mostly cards. And it's a game that you don't distribute resources at the beginning of the game. Well, there like, are. I mean, like, not like super assigned per fact. It's it's not on a per, 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 base, per person basis yeah. standard, but it's a per, per faction. faction setup. So then, okay, so that's what allows it to close. And then in theory, then look. yay! In theory, that seals this. Yes. It's on top. But I figure if you put it on its side, that is not much of a seal. Ooh, it, no, because you'll have the oh. long cardboard. Yeah, and then you have to like yeah. put it there. You'll have these things then to hold it up. Oh, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. which means I will take out uh, the expansions. Are we throwing them away? No, I don't know. They're just, they're just gonna hang out, you know. <laughs> um, they're here. <laughs> Oh wow, I didn't realize how thick the man was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are our additional boards. Aztecs, Atlanteans, and Amazons. So I will put them in order of release. These are the expansion cards for the four bits. No, no, plus the plus the faction. No, because look, it's yeah, it is main. So so it'll be like this. Uh, ah, so Rome, Roman expansion, Roman expansion. Roman. Yes, because okay. the, the, each expansion gives them additional cards. Okay. So this is like the easier one, to, but so then look, oh, okay, that that slots kind of nicely. Para kayo na susung ka. Okay, so let me get the base ones out. Although we'll have to figure out the first the no, scoring tokens. I'll put them on my computer first. Um, put them in a bag. Because they, they, might, okay. they might fall off somewhere. Um I will put them faction card facing the left. Uh, faction back. So it's easier to identify. So that's that. And then Egyptians. Hello. The Egyptian score token is not here. Hmm. It's not in its bag. It may have mixed elsewhere. Uh, Japan. Oh, Actually, wasn't in the resource bag. Oh, can I borrow uh with one of the other? Yeah. Can I borrow a small train along? The bags are a little cumbersome. Okay. Oh no. And I love Egypt. Okay. Or maybe with the common cards. Okay, then we go with why can't we be friends? Um, okay, this, this plastic's gonna break from oh. the stress. Yeah. It already so has a crack. Mind, so we have to be careful. Oh, it has a crack. Yeah, we'll just tape it. Actually, both sides. Mm -hmm. It's stress yeah, from delivery impact. Okay. That's the reality. We can probably we should probably tape reinforce the corners. I think. Uh -huh. Okay. Whoops. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> Mitch is like I have an open games. Panang she wants them to be featured on the show. What? <laughs> Is is this like remote control, like FGTC style? Like we'll learn the game for you and stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, I stuck in the expansions. Okay, so 
Romans. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? So there's actually a fair amount of space up and down, uh, despite the expansion. So the, the slots are not exact to 10 cards on sleeve. So I think it should be okay. And I know the pictures I saw, but it looks like high quality sleeves. I mean, like they're nice ultra pro, ultra pro sleeves. Oops, and then these are common cards with that expansion. Oh. Mm, I'm just gonna put it here and think about it later. <sighs> Next one is three is the magic number. Thank you people who decided to stay and watch us do this, which is really just three of you. Who's still here? So we have Mitch and Karen. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know who else is. Who's the third one? Okay. Oops. So just to um, talk other talk. So the Mad King Kickstarter has officially launched and we have backed it. Yes. And then for those who enjoyed Russian Railroads, there's an upcoming oh my God. Ultimate Railroad collection. <laughs> which has all the different countries in one box. Um, there's the 15th year um, anniversary edition of um, um, Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. The mm -hmm. train game. Ticket to Ride? Ticket to Ride. Okay. Which has small train figures. We can start the fire. There's a lot of buzz. Oh, for... Andre, you're still there. I actually, we weren't sure if you were still there. So, There's a lot of buzz yeah. for the Darwin game. It seems they spent a lot for marketing. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to separate uh, solo cards. Common cards, which I don't know which slot. Oh. Then I think I know that's what this this space is. I think this space, this bigger space here, is a uh, solo because it's the next biggest deck. Uh, barbarians, Japanese, Amazon, sorry, Park Q, Romans, and then Egyptian. And then what else? Portal Games has a bunch of new games. Oh my up. god! Because it was Portal Con over the weekend, and they have a bunch of new stuff coming out. Among them, they're uh, making a Dune game, guys. Uh, for those who have tried the Detective game, which is um, a social deduction—no, not social deduction—a deductive mystery resource management game. Where you try to manage time and stress while you use tokens to to do missions. There is now a Dune version of that game. There is a sixth. There's a th a fourth person watching. Who are you? Oops, sorry. Yeah. So the plastic is really it's not thickened at the bottom and still break it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to reinforce it with a bit more tape. Oh, no, this is Japanese. And it's funny because I then uh, was this the, the way they've arranged it here is alphabetical. It's not by order of release because then mm -hmm. Atlantean should have been first. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I can kind of respect that. I can kind of respect that. Yeah, one must wonder why all the A's. Ancient aliens. <laughs> Oh, you're working. That's fine. Multitasking is totally acceptable while watching but they bread. <sighs> Atlanteans. Oh my god, but where's my Egyptian score token? I'm stressed. I don't I remember that. We it realized, got set aside. And then we put it in somewhere. It must be maybe it's in the common. It's probably in one of the bags. 
because it wasn't in the token bag. We already emptied out the tokens. You want to double check though the the was this there were the tokens that were on put us on the side or I mean like the anyway. Hmm? No, it's it's uh, a dark colored one. Oh no! Notice this one was a thicker slot. Mm -hmm. If I put it in sequence, Atlanteans, it matches. Yeah, let me double check the common tokens we put here. What's in there, no? Hmm. Stress, stress, guys, stress. Egyptian score token may be missing. And the bags are empty, and I don't think anything's fallen to the floor yet. Anyway, I'm not gonna think about it. Let's let's just move forward first, and then we'll get back to it. Okay. So um, I haven't. Is that no? I haven't done Aztecs. Okay, Aztecs. Oh, RJ's here. Hello, RJ. Um, I'm missing a score token. I'm not sure where it is. And you know how tiny these score tokens are. So I'm missing one of them for the Egyptian faction specifically. Oh no. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. So I sort of recall we we had that. Oh no! And then where did we put it? But essentially, this is an. Uh, huh, Mitch is, uh, has a good tip. We may have to check the rule book in case it slipped into the rule book somehow. But at least this is uh, how it's looking so far. Side empty bags. <clears throat> yeah, and then you put the storage tiles there. Like this from here. Put it on it. Okay, common cards. Although I know technically I have mixed in expansions into the common card deck forever. I don't think I vacuumed this. <laughs> Okay, I have space for the times five tokens. 
but it's definitely going to exceed. And then I guess first player, I can stick it here. Ah. Our last option would be to look at our record of games and what we played within the same duration. Night? Yeah. Mm, maybe. And it might have been something we put in that container. Okay. So I'm going to alphabetize the. I will alphabetize the other factions. So Amazons. Atlanteans. I'm trying to empty out the table then there, but we can figure out where it might have gone. I can understand why it's missing though, because it's the black one, so it's like super hard to see. Then this. I guess that works. Okay. And I'm checking empires because it might have been the game we played other than Imperial. Hmm. I don't know. They, they tend to be very distinct. Oh. Oh, what interesting. Because hmm. I've noticed yeah, that some expansions, they don't include cards for some of the factions. Um, but they've made sure that each of the factions have faction-specific cards for three other expansions. And then some of our promo tiles fit here. And the diplomacy tiles... Uh, not too obvious, but have a slot. Oh, what did he put there? Ah, no, that's where he put the solo play. Ah, okay. I was trying to remember what I was remembering. It's the ninja. <laughs> There's no ninja in this box. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, let me... Imperial Settlers, the last time we played was August of last year. On August, ah, no. August of 2019. <laughs> that was a long time ago. August. We played Tiny Epic Galaxies. Oops. I jumped. We played uh, Tiny Epic Galaxies first, then we played Imperial Settlers, then we then you guys played Tashkalar, mm -hmm. Eight Minute Empire, The Expanse. I oh, know, sorry, no, just Tashkalar, and that was it. Hmm. Okay, I'll check those boxes. So annoyingly, though, there's a whole extra slot there. But because there are no more expansions so far, so there's no need for it. And then, um, we're definitely not as organized as some of the people who like super 
separated out the common cards. So there are certain common cards that I have not separated out unless I take the time to uh, double check the numbering and and sort them, which would be a pain. What mini expansions are we missing? <laughs> I'm looking at the board game geek references. I mean, there's no question of space, definitely. Um, I'm not happy with like, I feel like we didn't, they didn't fully think out where to put the faction scoring thing. I'm going to keep a bag for it and keep them together. So no sign and touch color. Yeah, which is over here. It's a lot of space, guys. It's a super Super a lot of space. <laughs> okay, so I'm double track I'm double checking. So what do we not have for expansions? Hmm. I don't think I've gotten armor and barracks. That's one. I know. I think I got the common village cards. Oh, not yet. I haven't gotten the common village cards. I haven't gotten the marketplace. Um, I don't have the man versus animals card. I got the ruins expansion and that's like permanently mixed in here. Uh, I got the Aztec common cards, I know. And I think I mixed them in. Now I'm like wondering if I should like separate them out. But that feels like such a pain. Because like, I, I don't know, there's, there's no big benefit to like removing them from the, from, from the set. They don't, I mean like the expansion, the other expansion common cards have specific impact on the game mm -hmm. um because like we didn't start the fire has open production cards i'm mm -hmm. oh, sorry uh why can we be friends and then the three is a magic number has a lot of set cards uh, okay oh plus we have the new enough These new cards. So what are the new cards we've gotten with this set? Um, investor Guild, any time during your turn, feature, turn any number of gold on the Investor Guild, uh, place any number of gold on the Investor Guild for the rest of the game. At the end of the game, you gain two, five, or 10 points if you place one, three, or seven gold. That's not bad, seven gold on this thing. Oh, and uh be a Empire of the North Oh. So in the corner of the card, it's not clear, 
but it's a picture of one of the factions from Empire of the North. So this one, Bardic Championships feature, each time you build a blue building, choose one of your action cards. Discard goods spent to activate, you may activate it again. Wow. Um, Northern Festival, the Vikings, they just, it's a production of a person and a fruit. And just tavern, spend two fruit to gain a point and a person. Wow. Same pattern. Yeah. Um, this guy's a boat. Party ship. Spend a person and a race token to draw three cards. Raise one of them and discard the others. Hmm. That's interesting. So it's like you found islands you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one is an offering. It is an action space. Spend a race token and any resource to gain three points. Uh, ice walls, because it's the penguin people. Uh, it's a feature with no benefit on its own, but then there's a building bonus of a point for each feature card in your empire, max six. Additionally, gain a card. Cool. Um, eyeball fish stand, penguin people again. Spend a fruit to draw a faction card and make a deal with it. <laughs> And then the last one is the eskimo -y one. Discard the card from your hand to immediately build a faction card, ignoring the, the foundation and the building cost, and gain a point. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. Okay. Now i got to double check this manual so I can determine what I will do with the old manuals. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is so big. Yeah, sadly, I can't find the token. I'm pretty sure we saw it. And then we we must have set it aside somewhere. <laughs> Annoyingly. Okay, each and every bag. Bags are empty. Uh, each and every bag. Um, what I'm really looking for, apart from card clarification, although there are many card clarifications, is um, what I want to reference for card number. Ah, uh, there. Ah, uh, but it's like, okay, there. They just reprinted. Where was it? In the box? Yay! Toby found it! I had a feeling it was in the box. I looked at we, we probably slipped it in, but not in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I, I, I've now declared this bag for it. All is right in the world. All is right in the world. Okay, so... Wait a So... Wow, it lists all the mini expansions. So I never got the panoramic cards because it just replaces the faction cards. Mm -hmm. We have the expedition tiles. Diplomacy, mm -hmm. we don't have diplomacy. We only have open... Uh, mm -hmm. We have the... Ah, we don't even have the marketplace. This is different. Oh, are they... No, I think these are some diplomacy tiles. But then there are more. We only have Amber Road. Yeah, we have two refugees. Ah, I want to get the rest. I want to get the rest. I want to fill up this box. <laughs> so our factions, our common cards are not like ideal, ideal. Because yeah, I haven't um, um I haven't dealt with this. So technically there are expansions mixed into this. So by right, like yeah, this should be like on top and then um I just stick these guys in. Oh my god, there's that single card, the Watcher's Guild. Mm. 
it's released in Indiegogo. Okay, that's too much. Because like, okay, if I go to Portal Games now, Watchers Guild, spend one person to draw and reveal one card. Pay the cost to build it immediately and gain two points or return it to the top of the appropriate deck. Maybe use twice. Wow. So I've been ordering from Portal Games US because it can go to my shopping box. So then it's easier. So shop. I don't want to play mat. There's the council promo. Mini it was expansion. An Easter basket thing. Mm. Oh, this was evil. So the Easter basket had cards for different games. Oh, okay. Seven Wonders, Six Nimit, um, 504. <gasps> Wooden tokens. Yeah. Okay, I don't think it even had an English translation. Imperial Settlers Man versus Animals. Promotional card offered by the Man vs. Meeple Season 1 Kickstarter. Wow, well, there's even a Dice Tower in. Whoa! Action! Spend one sword to gain four apples. Wow, that's crazy. And then raise for three fruit? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And that's enough. It's one wood and a settlement. A foundation. When you raise it. When it's raised, pala. Mm. Such a giving card. Here, I see the Dice Tower one. So many. I'm going to check the Polish store also. It is crazy. Wow, Andre, you've like said it's so organized many, many, many times. I think your comment has gotten buggy. Either it's buggy or it's that ironic that he's stating. <laughs> so organized, so organized, so organized, so organized, so organized. I'm looking at the Polish store. And a diplomacy. Diplomacy is different from what we have. So we don't have diplomacy. Which is uh, not available in the US store. And then I never bothered with the armor. Did I get the Aztec common guards? I didn't. I didn't. Mm -mm. Now I want to get them. Now I want to get everything. <laughs> to be fair, stuff was out of stock before. It's just tricky because uh, stuff I get in the US store, I pay in dollars. And then, so for example, Imperial Settlers Marketplace styles are $8 in the store. But then in the Polish store, it still says it's 8 So it's 8 euro. Mm -hmm. How big is, is the difference now? A euro is $1.21. Uh, then look at the panoramic cards. Go here. Wow. It's pretty. It's very pretty. But you know, then it just replaces the faction. Ah, ah, stress, guys. Stress. Anyway, okay. So uh, let's put it all together. Let's put it all together for now. Just to show. So we have the we have the bottom of the box. So there's lots of space. See those gaps? Common cards I don't own. Bugger it. Okay. And then and then this slot, look how look how empty it is. Because there are more. And I want them, I want them. 
Okay. So you get this. There is no easy way to slide this in. Okay, there ish. Um then we have this four boards we could just sit on top, I guess. I'm surprised they didn't think of a provision for this. Yeah. Or is there? Like, should it be under? Because this has no, has no notches. slots. <laughs> yeah. And we saw that with Empires of the North. It's also it's just too short for any position. Yeah. There's no provision for it. Okay. And then now this new manual. Super big. And then uh, the lid. To be fair, it's not a farty box. Ha! Huh. It's flat. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm still happy. I'm just now going promo card crazy. And that's my problem with this thing. It's like, okay, okay, guys, the few of you who are still on this stream, I will push the question out to you. Should I, um, what's this? So the US store, does not have all the expansions, all the mini expansions that we don't have in stock. It is missing at least one of them. <laughs> Diplomacy tiles is missing. I don't know if I'm ever gonna bother with the armor. What was the point of the armor? The armory. It just adds more, no, it just adds more race production. Which is not bad. Okay. So I don't have the armory. I don't have the marketplace. And both stores have the marketplace. Um, the panoramic sets I don't have. I don't have the... Uh, Villages around, across the world. What is villages across the world? 12 unique common cards named after different language editions of the game. Each of the cards contains a unique illustration to depict a small village in the architonic style. Okay, it's cute. I've never I've never bothered with this. The main the main thing, thing that always holds me back from getting them is that shipping. Mm -hmm. So only one of the expansions, I think, if I'm counting this right, is not on the US store. And it's a diplomacy tile set. We could wait. Cause uh, for all we know, they'll release a, a multi like what they did with Robinson Crusoe. Yes. I'm looking at you, Robinson Crusoe treasure chest. Yes. So I think we can wait. But I want to get it. For all we know, but it's going to be part of the you know, the upcoming Kickstarter you know, add-ons or something. Well, I never know. That's true. But it has. To, I would. I think it would be part of a Kickstarter if it were like an Imperial Settlers related Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Oh, they also don't have the Aztec common cards. Oh, another point in the favor of the or or or. Um, or I only get the ones that are in the Polish store, in the Polish store, and screw it, deal with the excessive shipping, and then the rest, I get them in the U.S. store. Or I only get the ones in the U.S. store that are there now, and wait for them to restock in the Polish. In the or US we store. find someone who's Polish. 
befriend him and ask him, we just really want to buy these games. Can you be our friend so we can order for you? <laughs> uh, decisions, guys. But to be fair, if I order direct from the Polish store, they should be able to ship here, which eliminates me paying for my shopping box shipping. So maybe that offsets the fact that you're paying euro instead of US dollar. Mitch, of course, is like, you getting that expansion, will that make the game more exciting? Will it suit well with the other expansions? Not by much, in my experience. It's like little tweaks to the game. And then Karen says, wait and see, Muna. That's prudent. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I just settled my credit card bill. And uh, it's a good reminder that... Uh, Yes, I've been buying things like this box. Yeah. Oh, I, let me let me try something real quick. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Sorry, working. Ha, okay. For the curious, it's about 2.5 kilograms. <laughs> I had to step on my scale, then get off to put it on the scale. And Wait. then I did not turn on my Fitbit app, because if not, it's going to sink. And then it will say that, hey, Rocky, you gained that. why are you 2.5 kilos today? <laughs> So now we have the sad things about all the original manuals, which uh, for now are going in the original Imperial Settlers box. This is also going to get. Um, must be a nicer way to organize this. Okay, that'll hold its shape better. And then it's gonna get the original faction boards, which are the half boards. In the original manual. But US I can use it later. No, it's okay because I can always my shopping box anything in the US store. So I, I don't feel too bad. Mm -mm. It's really just more a do we give in or not? Because giving in. Okay, okay. The Imperial Settlers portion of this episode is over. Toby, what did you just do? Because giving in, you end up having suddenly, oh, in the same day. First, okay, this one, this one's it's like it's Cosmos, so it's the people who do the exit games. Mm -hmm. Um, Toby was attracted by the fact that it promises that there are 50 different missions in what is called a cooperative trick taking game. It got good reviews. I noticed on certain splash pages on BGG, they include the card, the box art for this for some reason. Mm -hmm. So it's a big thing. Ooh, we didn't put the silica in. Yeah. And then you have this one. Okay, Toby, explain why you got this one. There, that is the reason. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't seem enough? Well. Animal Still not enough? tokens. Toby got it for animal tokens. On the back of the box, it proudly advertises that it comes with 127 animals. Squirrel. I don't think it's a squirrel. It's a fox of some sort. Kangaroo. Mm -hmm. 
flamingos. You can't quite see how pink it is, but it's pink. Penguin. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then. Elephant. <laughs> Mitch is like, it's a lemur. I don't think it's a lemur. The card art doesn't look like a lemur. No. I can't tell if it should be dark or light. Officially, uh, animal types? Arctic fox. Arctic foxes. Tree kangaroos. Oh, 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 I'm still missing one. I'm still missing one. I'm still missing one. There's a yeah, crap. Oh, there's a meerkat. Okay. Meerkat, flamingo, tree kangaroo, penguin, uh, arctic fox, and elephant. It's by Ewe Rosenberg, which means this should be an interesting game. <laughs> which is like Quedden and the Fabled Fruit. Because look, it has all these Tetris like tiles. So you build a zoo with Tetris gameplay, and then you put your animals. See, they do even have a tray to keep your stuff. But that's about it. The box is also quite minimalist in the sense of it's just like, mm -hmm. it's just empty. So yeah, secondhand market. Yeah, so it, Toby progressed from looking at it, showing me pictures of the meeples and saying it's so cute. And then him being in back-to-back -back meetings most of the day, so I didn't, I couldn't like really bother him because he was always on conference calls. And then by the end, he's like, I got the zoo. I'm like, what? What? Yeah, what? I guess this is my stress buying. Yes. I haven't scanned these boxes. Oh, can you check upside on the back? Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah. That's okay. okay. So yeah. Yeah, yeah but, look, but look at that, look at that fox's face. <laughs> like. Yoshi. <laughs> and then look there, look at the gameplay of the back. Oh, look at that. Did you make your zoo with all the animals? So everybody has a player board. So it's like less aggressive dinosaur island. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. I didn't. Uh, I have the little manual for the. And then this one, man, it's, uh, no, it's trick taking. So it's basically MS Hearts, if you think about it, which is trick taking. Love that. Yeah, but then cooperative. it's cooperative, so interesting. So whose tricks are we taking? So yeah, that's me, stress bag. And that's not counting the new stuff we purchased. Oh, I mean, like, look, we have a first edition 51st State, even though we own 51st State Master Set, which Toby forgot we own. Yeah, but it was only, like... 400 bucks. 400 bucks. Toby keeps, you know, that's that's always his like consolation. It's like, it's super cheap. So I didn't scan the box before I put everything in the box. <laughs> now I know what I'm going to do before bed. It's going to scan. Um, and, and I will weigh carefully if I'm going to buy Imperial Settlers expansions tonight. I don't think I'm going to last very long <laughs> because now that I have the now that we have the box, I super I super want to get the rest, even the panorama tiles, because I just want to show my love for Portal games. I super love Portal games, mm -hmm. and they deserve it. They, they 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 do really good games and super so much so much good times for us. Okay, I guess that's pretty much our episode, guys. Thanks for people who hung out with us. Watch me miss my steps for the last interval because obviously I was sitting down. But it was fun. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just like sleep on it. If tomorrow you don't forget, go buy it. Mitch, I'm not going to forget. I've always been thinking about these expansions. I just wait for other games before I buy them. But then... I end up not getting them because it feels weird to figure out shipping just for the small items. And then if I get uh, pre-orders, I cannot combine pre-orders with items in stock. And I have seen the expansions disappear from the stores regularly. That's my problem. That's my problem. I'm going to see how much it costs to ship to the Philippines. 
tonight. And then I'll speak about it. That's my plan. That's my plan. Mm -hmm. I love you. You do you want wooden swords and shields? I have I've held off on getting the wooden swords and shields. I don't mean, mind if you buy it, because that means we're still supporting Portal Games. Because we love you, Ignazi. I don't buy you cookies, but I buy your games. Mm -hmm. We we buy your games so you can afford to buy cookies. Okay. We should have an episode, the games which we have multiple copies of. Oh, that's a new thing now. Because we do have a number of games which we have multiple copies of. Um, and there was one instance we tried to get rid of a game in terms of meaning we had to give it away para lang to justify that we had another copy of it. Sushi Go. Yes. Oh my god, how many versions of Sushi Go yes. did you go through? <laughs> so that deserves an episode. We had the original Sushi we'll Go. We'll make that an episode. We'll make it an episode. Because we have to talk about the games where we have multiple copies. Yes. See, Karen says if we can afford them and get them. That's what I always tell Rocky. I mean, we're we're fortunate enough to not have other um, direct social um, responsibilities. We don't have kids. That's what he means. But but we do still, you know, we do our share in helping um, in different instances. I don't want to get into specifics, only because it might sound like we're maybe long or what. But mm -hmm. you know, we we do our we do contribute in our own way to different responsibilities. Mm -hmm. um, but we are still more liquid. Is that the best word? Or more fluid compared to other, let's say, couples. Oh, we're totally fluid. Because you, <laughs> you have others who are, you know, um, they unfortunately got into credit card debt. Or you mm. have others Oh, I cleared are, my credit card were, last year. That was handling. like my best achievement mm -hmm. last year or others were handling family you know and in our case we were both fortunate enough to be able to bounce back from other family yeah, yeah. Stuff. so we have that we have that advantage we have that happiness so it's really just really more a guilt of stuff like that because we could you know we could admittedly choose to like move somewhere now and get a bigger place but but we're comfy here, no man. So it's okay, <laughs> even if even if it's like the bat cave and cool and lang, we have a giant T Rex somewhere. Oh, I can buy an inflatable T Rex suit and leave it filled up. That's like Batman. Why do you want to be like Batman? No, just bat cave. But we need to have a Batman who's like shirtless, hairy, and always like looking like this in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like talk with word with his speech bubbles. That was such a strange comic. That's a strange comic. Uh you better go deal with your mom. Yeah. I'm looking at her stream of questions. Yeah. I, I, my mom me. is now learning. She 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 bought a USB drive. Well she asked the driver to get a USB drive. Oh. And she's panicking because she got those itty bitty ones. Oh and she's and like yeah. Why, why is it so why are small? they so small? Did they did they buy did they cheat and did they fool me and get me a small one? And I was like, Mom, wait, let me see. Okay, that's 16 gigabytes. The old one you have that's bigger is four. That's four times bigger. It's like, what? Wait, how, how is that possible? And then now I'm explaining that there are different USBs and that USB is a, um, it's the plug type thing, which is a universal format, which is similar to how there's type A, type B, type C plugs and for power. And, yeah, so we're talking about that now. Such fun. Yeah. Technology and our parents. Okay. Let's wrap up, Toby. So that's all the time we have for this episode. We had a lot of fun, and we hope you'll join us again next time. I know we didn't really talk much, but I hope you enjoyed the experience. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have we questions, the moment with yeah. If you have questions or suggestions for future episodes, like Mitch suggesting that we open her games for her, <laughs> <laughs> um, feel free to fill out the Google form at Bitly Badu Pride Ideas, uh, and we'll see if we can get around to the topic uh, sooner or later. You can follow us. Oops, nope, I didn't click it. You can follow us on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Toby No Shade, RG Suniko. You can also check out our blog, badepray.com, for all the previous episodes and stuff about us. Uh, feel free to have some sort of a conversation in the comments below. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Um, but you, we, you, you know what we can talk about? Look, look. All this plastic that has been liberated from our copy of Imperial Settlers. 
Um, and be sure to subscribe for notifications, whether on Facebook or YouTube, so you don't miss our next live stream. Once again, I'm Rocky. And I'm Toby. And this is Baduy Pride. Pride. Thanks for sticking around as we open a box. Why did we wear stripes? I didn't. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to rotate shirts because <laughs> I have a light slow. I thought it was up. like, because they look like flags. I thought for a and moment like, it kind of felt like factions. Like we, and then like we're different colors but the same because Imperial Seven. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Good night.